Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Abhishek and in today's video we are going to learn how to produce messages to a Kafka topic and how to consume messages sent to a Kafka topic. So basically we are going to create a producer and a consumer for our Kafka topic. If you're watching this video, I assume you have already seen my previous video on how to run a Kafka cluster and calf drop. If you have not already seen that, I would request you to go ahead and uh, watch that first. Because in this session, we are going to need a Kafka cluster and calf drop already running. So let's quickly go and verify if our Kafka cluster is running. Okay, so our Kafka uh, node is running and Zookeeper node is also running in our Docker desktop. Let's quickly go ahead and verify if our calf drop is running. Yep, so it is running. So calf drop is a UI uh, tool uh, to visualize uh, all the Kafka topics and messages. So I'm going to use Python to create our Kafka consumer and producer. So I am using IntelliJ. Let's go ahead and create a new project. We'll give it Kafka producer consumer. And it is going to be a Python project. I'm going to use Python 3.8. Let's go ahead and create a requirements file. So what we need here is uh, Kafka Python. And we are going to install this. So our Kafka Python is installed in our virtual environment. Now let's go ahead and create a Python file. We'll call it producer dot I. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say from Kafka import Kafka produce. And we are going to create a main method okay, so that we can run this uh, file. Okay. There are a few things we need to pass to this Kafka producer. The first one is uh, the bootstrap servers, which is nothing but uh, uh, URLs of Kafka clusters, uh, Kafka nodes. Okay, so the way we need to pass them is bootstrap server. You can pass more than one uh, servers also, uh, separating them by comma. Since we have just one server running on localhost 9092, right? So we are going to pass just one. So next one is a value serializer. Okay, so this is to tell Kafka uh, producer how to serialize the message. So we are going to use a lambda function. Done. That's all, uh, that's how we create a producer. There are some other parameters also which uh, you can pass in a Kafka producer, but they're not mandatory. And by they, they have some default values. Okay, so now that our producer is created, let's go ahead and do producer.send. And in the first, uh, uh, in the first value, we need to pass to which topic we are going to produce the message. And the next should be the value. Uh, let's call a topic orders. And uh, this is order one. Now we need to do producer dot flush so that we could send the message. And we can just put a print statement. Now let's go ahead and run this application and we should be able to see a message. Oops, I think here we forgot. So message produced. Now let's go ahead to our calf drop and see if uh, any topic is created and uh, any message is published or not. Yep, we can see here our topic is already created. And we can see some messages also. 
yeah so here you can see we have our this is the message which we published from our producer so we are able to see it here now let's go back and create one more file we'll call it consumer Uh, similar to Kafka producer, we need to pass some parameters to Kafka consumer. So the first uh, first parameter we need to pass is on which topic we want this Kafka consumer to listen. So since we have created our topic uh, orders, so we are going to listen on orders. Next is uh, the bootstrap server. So it's going to be the same. And the next uh, parameter we need to pass is how we are going to deserialize the messages which are we are going to consume. Okay, so that is called value deserializer. We need to pass the values to deserializer like this. Now our consumer is uh, created. Now we want to make sure that whenever any message is produced. Uh, on the orders topic, we are going to receive it on a consumer. So consumer is uh, an application which should always be running for messages in Kafka, sorry, in consumer. And Now let's start our Kafka consumer. <clears throat> so our Kafka consumer is listening. So as soon we uh, produce any message to the orders topic, it, the message will come here. So let's go ahead and run this producer. And let's this time we are going to say order two. So message produced. Now let's go ahead and see if it came to our consumer. Yeah, we can see that it has come to order two. Let's uh, go ahead and say order three. Once more, message produced. And in consumer, yeah, order three has come. Let's go ahead and see in our calf drop also. Yeah, so we can see the messages in our calf drop also that they are coming to the others topic. That's all for this session. If you have any doubts, please write in the comments. I'll try to answer them. And thank you for watching.